Hi, I'm Tim from Outfield Farm. I'm just going to take a few seconds to show you how to light our amazing Hickey Bohemian Hot Top, or as my wife would say, Bohemian. Suki is always right. Each of our three cabins here have one of these, the Sheeling, Both and Do, and Win. Now today is the 8th of February, it's quarter past four in the afternoon. It's a lovely sunny day and it's about zero degrees. In a few hours, it will be about minus four. When you arrive, your hot tub will be full and the firebox will have a little bit of wood in the bottom of it and some fire lighters. Basically, we don't fill it to the brim because then you can't light it. So I'm going to just show you how to light it now. Take a match or a lighter or a longer match or whatever you've got. Light the fire lighters like this. Like this. Come on, fire. There we go. Okay. There may be a little bit of ash in the bottom, but don't panic about that. So that's it just lit. So the secret is, is what we do is we put this lovely lid here, just like this. So that means there's a draft going in there. When I do it, to be honest, I have a little bit more of a draft going in. That sucks in the air. And what we'll see is the smoke coming out the chimney. Now we're gonna leave this for about five minutes or so and come back and we're gonna see what the flames are doing. And then we're gonna add a little bit more wood. You don't pile all the wood in at a one not a good idea. We'll just see how we get on. Remember, leave that open, look at the draw, happy days, and we're off. Okay, so that was a very quick five minutes. Now we're gonna add some of our kiln dried hardwood, some of which, which comes from the farm. This is really hot, really hard, and it burns fiercely, it's just perfect. So if you have a look at the, where we are now, can you hear it roaring? See the fires going? Absolutely perfect. So what we do now is we add a little bit more wood, like this. This stuff burns really, really well. Put that in there like that. See, it's dropped out, we don't panic. Put that there, put that there this little bit here. So what's going to happen now is the wood that's in there is going to burn down and that's going to fall into its place. So we put the lid back on, hear it roar. Wait a minute. Perfect. Put that lid back on, calm down and we'll come back in 20 minutes. Okay, spot on. Cheers. I'm back. Okay, and earlier on I said it was February. It's actually March. I'm not a film star though. Have a look at this. Yet. <laughs> Have a look at this. Half an hour in, check it out. Hot, hot, hot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a bit more wood and load her up. Okay. You see the way that that's just fallen in naturally? This is what is so clever about these things. I love the Scandos, by the way. That'll just gradually slip down as the wood below it burns out. We put our lid back on to there. Now we're quite comfortable to there. Perfect. Check out these bubbles. Look, that's all hot, 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 getting going. So. We're half an hour in, we've let the fire build up. We've got a little bit of soot in our hands. We've loaded it up. Go and have a cup of tea, maybe something stronger. We'll be back later on. Hi guys, still here. It's now minus four. It's about 10 to seven. This thing's been burning for a yeah, two and a half hours and a bit. Doing well, happy days. So what I do now, I've been stirring this as we've gone. What I do now is that temperature's good. So I'm just gonna shut the lid like this. That starves the oxygen. And what you just see is, uh, ignore that. You can't see anything. 
It's dark. <laughs> and then stars the oxygen, and this is now perfect. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, so see you in a bit. Oh, hi. Just reading my uh, favorite magazine, listening to uh, The Amazing Eyes of Others, sung by my friend John Bryden, who lives next door, having a can of vitamin tea to end off a bloody good day. Hot tub was ready in about two and a half hours, but it's absolutely roasting now. Full moon, minus four degrees. Happy days, guys. Happy days. Happy days indeed.